Good afternoon. It is afternoon, isn't it? Good afternoon, everybody. As I said, my name is Brian Morris. I'm a product manager here at Cisco working on Jabba. And I'm going to be talking to you about Jabba in virtualized environments. Now, hopefully everybody here knows about Jabba. Jabba is our on-premise client offering. It provides unified communications. It will provide a multiple set of uh, modalities, including instant messaging, desk phone control, if you want to control one of our Cisco handsets. It can operate as a soft phone. It provides video. It provides meeting capabilities and will actually allow you to do desktop sharing as well. It is used by over 50 million people, so it is one of our most popular clients. Um, but the question I'm going to talk about today is, what do you do if you are using virtualization, if you're using VDI? A lot of the uh, particularly financial industry these days are moving to VDI environments. And in those kind of environments, they want to deliver um, Jabber. Now, if you are using virtualization, we will be talking about how you can deliver unified communications and how Jabber will allow you to actually do that. So let's level set here. When we're talking about virtualization, we're talking about running your uh, remote desktops in either uh, typically a Citrix or a VMware environment, and then we're going to be using thin clients, or we're going to be using repurposed workstations to allow you to have a remote session. Now, when we're delivering unified communications, if we look at some of the modalities, instant messaging, uh, presence, or even CTI control, that's the physical control of a phone, that's very easy to do within a virtualized environment. You, there aren't really any additional considerations that you, you, that you need to take into account to deliver that, because there's no real-time traffic going to the uh, virtual machine. If we want to extend that and we add soft phone capabilities or video, uh, then that actually becomes a little, more, little bit more complicated. Let me explain to you why that is the case. To, to explain it, I'm going to use this model where we've actually got two uh, thin clients. They're both connecting to uh, virtual machines up within your data center. Uh, when we want to run a soft phone or a video call, basically it means that our media is now traversing um, the data center. Even if those two workstations were in the same location, it could be that your data center is remote. We're actually sending all of the voice and video up the virtual channels to the data center. Um, the exchange between the two workstations is done in the uh, data center, and then it will come back down. Now, this may work in a proof of concept environment where you've actually got uh, just one or two users doing that. But if you actually start scaling it up, which you typically do within a virtualized environment, and you've got multiple machines, that actually means that you've got a lot of traffic going up to the data center. And some of the issues with actually putting that media within the VDI channel um, means that the video that you're actually sending in there may not be encoded. Um, you're actually going to have a bandwidth bloat because compressed video may be uncompressed within that channel. And obviously, if that traffic is within the VDI channel, you've got no options for delivering QoS against that. So basically, we've got hairpinning, we've got the media traffic there, and we've also got the scale within the data center. Now, obviously, I'm going to tell you it is possible to deliver unified communications in that environment. And the way we do that is we can actually move the soft phone and video capabilities, so the media stack, we actually move that down to the thin clients. And we have a component which we call Cisco Jabber soft phone for VDI, and that does exactly that. It, it's a companion um, component that you actually run with Cisco Jabber clients running in the virtual machines in your data center. And when we have Jabber soft phone for VDI installed, it actually means rather than the media going up to the data center, you're, you're actually control, your media will go between the two workstations. In terms of interaction, effectively, the user is interacting with their Jabba client uh, in the data center, but we are actually communicating back to the remote media stack. Let me show you what that looks like. So we've actually taken the covers off slightly here. We're in the data center. We have Cisco Jabber running up there. We add an extra 
extra component, which is our VDI agent, and that is what sends the signaling down to the, uh, the VDI thin client, and then we actually have our soft phone media stack running down at the bottom. So basically, in this model, as you can see, we're actually not sending any media on that virtual channel. We've removed the hair pinning, we've removed the WAN um, traffic, and we've actually removed some of the scaling capabilities. Now, I've just proved to you that we can actually deliver uh, voice and video within a VDI environment. The next question that people typically ask me is, OK, you, I've seen you can do that, but I've heard there is still a difference in the actual services that I can deliver between a VDI user and a full desktop user. Over the last 12 months, we've been putting a major investment within Jabber in, v in a VDI environment. And we have actually gone through and refreshed a lot of the media stacks so that it aligns to the latest desktop clients. And we've also put new functionality in there as well. So previously, uh, if you were using VDI, you were unable to do a video desktop share. Uh, video desktop share obviously allows you to share your screen between Jabber clients, but it will also allow you to share your screen to telepresence and other video-enabled endpoints. So basically, we've, we've implemented BFCP-based desktop share for VDI users. What we have also done within the um, VDI environment is implemented all the enhancements that we put into Jabber to support a CMS environment in terms of multiple video view, views, putting roster lists in, and meeting controls so that you can do recording and things like that. But we've not only done that for CMS, we've also integrated WebEx meeting controls directly into Jabber, which are now also available to VDI users. And then finally, we have implemented mobile remote access. So sometimes within a VDI environment, you might have your users in remote locations. You might have contractors um, coming in. You can actually now deploy Jabber VDI with Expressway, which means that you have a VPN-less remote access solution for remote thin clients that will actually support voice, video, and all of the other services that we've actually shown on the screen here. So, Hopefully, in this short lightning talk, I have shown you Jabber, I've spoken about VDI, and uh, uh, highlighted the various services that we can deliver. So basically, what we're trying to do here is bring the capabilities for a VDI user or a virtualized user up so that they have a comparable feature set to the full desktop users within your organizations.